Hey, what's going on? So about a year ago when Unreal Engine 5 first came out, I made a tutorial about the new modeling mode. Now the modeling mode went away for a little bit and then came back and I think it's back for good. So in this video, what I'm going to show you is how you can displace in Unreal Engine 5.02 using the new modeling mode in UE5. So to get started, we have to actually turn on the plugin again, similar to what I did last year. You're gonna find it right here to plugins and then we're gonna type in modeling mode. And let's go ahead and enable both of these two down here and then I'll just restart my project right now. Okay, so we're back in a project and I'll just press OK. We're still compiling shaders, but it's all right. We don't need that. So I picked this example right here because first of all, I love Iceland. And this is a pretty good demonstration and how displacement kind of works. Now, displacement is not new. Actually, 4.27 has a pretty good displacement method. Um, but before the modeling displacement, I actually had to go to Blender and then do the displacement there and then export that mesh back in Unreal Engine 5. But now, thankfully, we can just do it this way. So I went ahead and went to Scans Library, which is really another place you can get some, you know, photo scan uh, assets. So I have this, I bought this Pebbles right here and I am not affiliated with Scans Library. Let's just put that out there. And I went ahead and downloaded it into my computer. And here are the textures that we're going to be working with. So the first thing we need to do is actually create a plane. And I'll just press G to just go ahead and hide those. And I'm going to select mode and then click on modeling. And that is going to go ahead and bring up the modeling mode that we talked about. And then I'm going to create a new rectangular right here. And that's pretty small there. Let's go by 400 by 400. And then I'll just go ahead and click on there so you can see that. And now we'll go ahead and press escape and that's going to exit out of that mode. Now I'll just kind of put it on top right here and I'll go ahead and disable the snap right here. Because what I want to do is just kind of lay this on top. Now obviously the pebbles doesn't really match this, but you can kind of see what I'm trying to do here in a second. The next thing we're going to do is actually take this and actually add a little bit more detail to it. Now again, I used to do this in Blender, but now you can do this in-house in Unreal Engine 5 by going to Remesh. So if I click on this plane or rectangle, I can actually click Remesh and we can add a little bit more triangles in there and more quality because this works best if you have a lot of triangle counts. So as you can see right there, we have 5,000. You can choose whatever you want. If you don't like your computer too much, put it to a billion but I like mine, so I'll just put it to like 100,000 or so. And after that, I'll just go ahead and press accept. Okay. So after that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new folder here. And we're just gonna name this Pebbles. I don't know if that's how you spell it. I think it is. And we'll just drag and drop our textures in. We're gonna Albedo, AO, Height Map, Normal, Roughness Spec, and we'll just drag it in here. Now, really I'm hoping for maybe scans library would kind of come up with their own plugin so i don't have to kind of manually put all this stuff in here so scans if you guys are watching this that would be really cool if you can just directly import your assets into unreal instead of having to manually create these materials so go ahead and go to the albedo and let's create a material double click that and we'll just start plugging some stuff in here this is like my favorite part of unreal is just plugging some stuff in it's so satisfying. It looks so, oh, not the height map. I'm gonna skip the height map. We're gonna go to normal. It looks like I'm actually know what I'm doing here, but really I'm just reading roughness. And then we're gonna go to roughness. I'm just reading, yeah, specular, drag it in there and put that specular, but it just looks so complex. Look at this, I can maybe even make this more complicated. Look at that, it looks like I'm smart. And I'll save this here. And this is gonna create a new material. Okay, so I will go ahead and minimize this now. And then we will just drag and drop that material into our plane. And as you can see, it looks amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and make this smaller so you can see a little bit better. That looks great, right? And I am in cinematic, so let me go ahead and turn this down to epic because I am recording in the same computer. And as you can see, I am texture streaming over pool budget already. So let me go ahead and take care of that real quick. I'll turn that to zero, so that's gonna, you know, make that go away. So we have this texture now, but as you can see, it's pretty flat. Now, in real life, if you've been outside uh, lately, if you look around you, there's really not 
a lot of stuff outside that's flat, especially gravel and pebbles. There's a little bit of kind of like detail and height to them. There's randomness in there. It would never look like this. This is as flat as a grandmother's cookies. All right. So the displacement, really what it's going to do is just make it a little bit more interesting, in my opinion, more realistic. And to do that, we go back to this modeling mode. You're now going to see a displace under deform. If I click on this, it's going to do his little where's Waldo thing. That's fine. By default, it's going to be in Perlin noise. And as you can see, wow, that looks horrible. But that's okay. We're going to go ahead and take the displacement type to texture 2D map. And we're going to go ahead and take this height map and then drag and drop it into the displacement map. Okay, and just like that, you saw what happened. It's not flat anymore. It actually gave it a little bit more shape to it, you know? And I know this is pretty extreme at 10. So if you want to, you can actually go ahead and change this to say five. And as you can see, it's not as extreme. But now if I go down this way, you're gonna see that it's not as flat anymore. There's a little bit of shape in there which a lot, looks a lot better than the flat ones right here on the right side from this actual environment. And what's cool about this is once I go ahead and accept this and I go to the mesh now, the static mesh, the rectangle, you're now going to see what really is going on. And it's really cool. And to think that that was only 100,000, crank it to a million, two million. But you see that if I make this bigger, the actual rectangle floor is now displaced, which is super freaking cool. I know this used to be so much easier to do in Unreal Engine 4.27. Actually, it still is. But for now, I'm not sure if this is going to be it as far as displacements go in Unreal Engine 5. But for now, at least, you know, you don't have to go to blender or something like that to go ahead and displace because you can actually do it all in engine here so that's pretty much it go ahead and go crazy test some stuff around the displacement stuff it doesn't have to be just a plane like this you can try it on assets as well as long as you have the displacement texture now if you have any questions let me know and again if you haven't done so please do like this video and subscribe to the channel i'm actually trying to get a hundred thousand subscribers this year and i really do need your help peace out